Christmas is coming! And this is week one of our readings about the birth of Jesus, where we're asking the question, what does it mean for Jesus to be the light of the world? Today, I'm reading from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 23 from the New Century Version of the Bible. Let's get started. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was engaged to marry Joseph, but before they married, she learned she was pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because Mary's husband Joseph was a good man, he did not want to disgrace her in public, so he planned to divorce her secretly. While Joseph thought about these things, an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, descendant of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because the baby in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this happened to bring about what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be pregnant, she will have a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Well, I wonder, what does that reading tell you today about what it means for Jesus to be the light of the world? Do you know, hundreds of years before the angel came to speak to Joseph, God spoke to a man called Isaiah, a prophet, and told him that a baby would be born who would be called Emmanuel. And now, hundreds of years later, this angel has come to Joseph and told him that the baby boy Mary was going to have would be Emmanuel, God with us. That tells me God never forgets. He always keeps his promises and that fills me with hope. So for me, what does it mean for Jesus to be light of the world? It means hope for all of us. Now, it might mean something different to you, but whatever you've taken from our reading today, I want you to take the card that we've given you in your pack. And on the front of the card, you can draw something or write a word that describes to you what it means for Jesus to be the light of the world. So you'll see on my card this week, I've written hope. Now this card is actually going to form the bottom of a candle that we're going to make to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. So what you need for your candle is a flame. Now we've given you some spoons in your pack so take a spoon and you'll need to colour just the top of the spoon because that's going to be the flame. Then on the back of your card, you'll see two bits of paper. Take off the middle bit of paper and you'll find some really sticky, sticky tape underneath. And you're going to stick your spoon to that sticky tape. Now make sure that you've got your card the right way round so that your, the top of your spoon will show above your card as the flame and you want to stick your spoon to that sticky tape on the back. Then you're just gonna peel off the second piece of paper and there's more sticky, sticky tape underneath that and you're just gonna fold your card round and stick the two ends of your card together and there you have your candle. Now, you can either do that now in which case you'll want to stop the video and come back later. Or you can put that to one side to come back to it later. Now, when you've done your candle, I do want you to have a think about where you want to place it. So maybe you want to put it somewhere that you'll see it every day to remind you that Jesus is the light of the world. Or maybe you want to put it in a window so people walking past where you live can see it. Whatever you want to do with it, have a think about that while you're making your candle. Also, we have a family service on the 18th of December, so we want you to keep your candle for that service and bring it to church with you. 
Now, I'll see you next week, but we have someone special who's going to come now and lead us in the Lord's Prayer together to finish. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.